What's up guys? In this video today, we're going to talk a little bit more about the mindset, which you probably are sick of it already. John sounds like a broken record. But I see a lot of self-defeating comments on X, the YouTube comments, and some a little bit on my Discord. I totally get it if this is your first cycle, you've never seen a crash like this, you don't know what to expect, you're being told one thing over here, one thing over there, your job's stressful, you can't work as much, you got a family, it's hard to start a side hustle, it's hard to work overtime, it's hard seeing your portfolio go down, and right now you're stressing, you're trying to figure out all the answers, and you can't find the answers, you're, you're forced to just sit there and wait, which is what all of us are doing. You know, I speak so much about the mindset because it's so important. People always want to be there for the green, the feel-good moments, the best moments in life. They don't want to be there for the gray moments, the uncertainty, and the bad moments, the red. If you look at life, the best teaching moments of life is oftentimes when you experience a setback. Whether it's a, you know, something happens at work, you get fired, a bad relationship... You get fat and you're forced to, you know, go on a diet because your doctor says you're going to die if you don't. Um, something along the lines of it happens to you and you're forced to adjust and pivot. The best successful person in life is the one, in my opinion, who has achieved the most failure, who experienced the most failure. You could say experience, you could say achieve. I say achieve because I want to be that person. I, I am that person. <laughs> I went through so much failure in fitness, in life, multiple businesses failing, multiple career paths failing. You know, I've felt like I've wasted time in the past when in reality, I've just learned what didn't work and what does work. And the same goes with crypto. You made some mistakes. You got rugged once. You made a bad trade. You were level-headed for so long and now you're you're just one step away from giving up, selling it, running away, running for the hills and say you'll come back like every other retail investor when the coast is clear, when things are safer, when the market is green, you buy high, sell low, when you should be buying low, selling high. I understand people always want the physical action of what to do, what crypto to buy, which one to get into, which one to sell. The mindset's a mental game. You're not really doing anything. You're just conditioning yourself to handle what's going on regardless if you have the answer as to what's going on. That's where I explore and implement the mindset tactics is when you have FUD, which is what? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. What do we see right now? Fear of the market crash, uncertainty of what's going to happen with the economic, inflation, the politics, who's going to get elected, and doubt. Some think the bull market's over. Some on X literally just said, they fooled you guys. The bear market's in. The top's in for, for the bull market. And I'm like, okay. You know, I've been told this same story all the time. Many years, many cycles. So I was told this in a bear market. This is it, guys. This is, you know, we're going down further. Never happens. <laughs> you know, happens literally every time. But see, if you're not conditioned to handle this stuff, this is where you start making mistakes. And I told you guys in the past, you know, if you're too immersed in crypto right now where you, you feel like you can't handle it and you don't have any money and you don't want to work a side hustle because you're just like, oh, poor me, I'm just going to, you know, complain, then maybe just, you know, take a break from crypto. But if you have the means and the time to sacrifice and grind just a little bit and understand that in doing so, you're not going to feel good. You're going to feel like crap, probably. You're going to have, you know, a lot of sacrificing to make that a priority. If you do what you have to do, regardless of how you feel in the moment, you'll put yourself in that top 1% at the end of the cycle. See, a lot of people don't want to do that. They want to feel good every day. They don't want to grind. They don't want to change their lifestyle. They don't want to have to work more than, you know, 40 hours a week temporarily because they, they don't they don't trust the process. They don't want to be in that top percentile despite saying so. I always say this. People love to talk. It's very easy to, to just say words. But when it's time to put in action, when it's time to put the plan in motion, very few actually accomplish that. Very few actually follow through. You know, it just goes back to our behavior 
you know, people and, and humans, we want to do what's comfortable, what's considered normal to us. Anything that's out of our comfort zone, we're kind of hesitant. We don't want to do it. We want to magically just dismiss it because, you know, the unknown is scary to many people. And, you know, rightfully so. If you don't know an outcome for a certain situation before going into one, it is a little nervous, you know, nerve wracking because you're like, eh, what can happen here? You always think the worst, right? So when it comes to these crypto crashes, when it comes to your crypto portfolio, I can only reassure you so much. You know, people say, but John, you know, you're, you're different. You know, you're just chill. You know, you handled this before. I'm no different than, than any of you who are watching. You know, I started off just like you. I've seen a bad bear market. I made my fair share of mistakes. I still do. You know, this is not about being a perfect investor. This is literally just understanding what you're seeing is normal. It's going to pass. This too will pass. This too shall pass, rather. And that the hard work you're putting in, if you are putting in the work, will pay off. You know, um, I, I, I keep getting a lot of these self-defeating comments from people. It's like, but John, it's easy to say that if you have money. But John, it's easy because you're in this position. But John, it's always the finger-pointing comparison game. It does you no good. Does you no good. You have to just focus on what you can control, be in your own lane. You know, you guys know my story. Back in 2022, I was making 20 bucks an hour. 2023, same thing. 2024, for a good half the year, I was too. Before I did something about it. You know, I was living check to check. So I totally understand when you guys say you, you find it challenging. You know, some of you are over leveraged and you can't be over leveraged. You know, I know it's easier said than done, but you got to fix the mistakes you're making. Some of you feel like crypto is not for you, which, listen, that's totally fine. No one's going to make fun of you if you feel like you're better in stocks or other assets. But I mean, you do what you feel is best. But I'm saying right now, if you've been around for this long, at this stage, this is the crossroads. This is the little way, the direction that you're pivoting from your peers. The ones who are leaving, the ones who are very crazy right now, the ones who are one step away from walking away, they're going to go this way and come back next cycle and have regrets. The ones who are buying, like the whales, who literally just bought millions of Bitcoin, who are hoping that you guys all go in the same direction with the other sheep, if you see the course and you see what they're doing, you understand why they're doing what they're doing, you have the the mindset of, yes, I don't know everything. I don't know what's really going on right now, but I know this is going to pass. This is normal. And what I do now is pivotal to my future, my you know life of success or lack thereof. If you know this, if you prepare for this, if you plan for it, if you put up you know, action and you actually do what you say you want to do, you'll be in that top percentile. You'll become another whale in the future. This is how whales are made. You got to make your first four figures. Then you turn out to five figures, then six figures, then multiple six, then seven, then eight figures. You can't just coast one, two, three and become a, a millionaire. See, a lot of people, the, the reason why they don't accomplish their goals is not always from a, a, a physical lack thereof action. It's always a self-defeating belief, a mindset issue, and then that ends up being their detriment to achieve that success. Because if they believe they can't do something, they won't be motivated to, to change it in their everyday life. They won't they won't actually you know follow through. I see people that have been following me for years on YouTube, and they're still thinking the same way they were thinking three years ago. It is what it is. You know, I say it all the time. People do not like the change. Change is rough. Change is scary. Change is tough. And, you know, change is just, it's hard. But this is not easy. Crypto is not easy. I mean, for me, I find it a little easier because I understand the mental, emotional side of crypto. You know, I say it all the time. You don't have to be a, a tech geek in crypto. You can just understand emotional behavior, the fear and greed index. You, can, you just know the fundamentals of buying low, selling high. And you'll make money over someone who knows everything about crypto but can't control their emotions. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, like I say, you know, this market's not for everybody. Uh, achieving massive success and changing your life is definitely something that you have to accept and want to do on your own accord. No matter words that I say or your family says or your spouse or your friends say is going to change your belief in anything. If you don't want to change yourself, if you don't want to put the, the work in, especially during times where it's tough because you need to feel good, that, my man or girl, is on you. Entirely on you. And don't be coming back in a year or two and say, man, 
I wish I would have put some work in. Because you're going to regret that. I'm telling you right now, whoever's walking away today is going to have regrets for not just sticking it out. If you want to be another failed statistic, by all means, do what you're, pro you're probably planning to do anyway. I'm not here to cause shade, disrespect. I'm literally trying to, like, shake you <laughs> and tell you that whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're thinking, get it right. Have a plan in place. Have a support system. Have outlets. Do what you can with the time you have. If you got a crappy job like I used to have, if you're making little money, if you got a family... If you find it challenging to work extra hours, start a side hustle, understand that is needed. Adversity, roadblocks, grinding, being drained of energy, all that is needed to achieve massive success. You're never going to feel good all the way through. So I really hope this cleared up, you know, some issues some of you guys are having. It wasn't a planned video. I just saw a bunch of comments here next in my YouTube comments and you know, sometimes on Discord, the sediment and behaviors always change when it's red. And then as soon as it's green, we get the we're so bad comments. And because people are so addicted to highs and lows that they just don't know how to be like neutral and to, uh, you know, maximize what they can do at any stage in the market. So, but if you guys want to, you know, talk to me, reach out to me, follow my trades, see my portfolio, see my profit taking course, be a part of private Q&A live streams and conference calls, then I encourage you to join Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. How has your mindset changed or not changed since you started investing in crypto? And what is a current habit you're trying to break? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.